How does a creature smaller than a house cat terrify lions, survive cobra bites, and walk away from leopard fights like it's no big deal? Meet the honey badger, the ultimate I don't care animal of the African plains. <clears throat> okay, picture this. You're a lion, the king of the jungle. You've taken down zebras, wildebeest, everything. And then this thing shows up, barely the size of a house cat, and it's charging at you. And you? You back off. The honey badger, nature's ultimate madman. <sighs> Fearless, venom resistant, and built like a biological tank. Stick around. We're going inside the badger's body to see how evolution made a creature that refuses to die. Welcome to Pets and Wild. You'd think it's just a cute skunk with anger issues, but underneath that fur, it's a fortress. The skin, up to six millimeters thick, loose, rubbery, and nearly impossible to tear. It's like wearing an oversized leather jacket made out of tire rubber. That looseness, that's genius. When a leopard grabs it, the badger can twist a full 180 degrees inside its own skin and bite the leopard in the face. Even crazier, the skin around its neck is thicker than a buffalo's pound for pound. A buffalo? Evolution didn't go for pretty here. It went for nightmare mode. Now we're moving from tough to superhero territory. Venom resistance. You've heard the stories. Honey Badger gets bitten by a cobra, drops, then wakes up a few hours later like, all right, lunch break's over, and eats the snake. How? Here's the science. Most animals die because snake venom blocks nerve signals to muscles, total paralysis. But the Honey Badger's muscle receptors, called nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, have a tiny mutation. Just a few amino acids different. That microscopic tweak makes venom molecules bounce off instead of binding. Think of it like trying to plug a charger into the wrong port. It just doesn't fit. So yeah, while other animals die in minutes, the honey badger just naps it off. It's not immune, but it's ridiculously resistant. And that's not all. Bee stings? No problem. <laughs> They'll raid an entire hive, get stung hundreds of times, and keep munching on honey and larva like it's Tuesday. Here's where biology meets pure chaos. Its muscles are dense and fatigue resistant, packed with slow twitch fibers. It can dig, fight, and chase for hours without slowing down. Combine that with a supercharged immune system that heals fast, and you get an animal that's basically running on fury and caffeine. So when lions, hyenas, or jackals step up, the badger doesn't run. It fights everything. Always. That's why the Guinness Book of World Records officially calls it the most fearless animal in the world. Meet Stoffel, a honey badger so clever, he escaped captivity 19 times. He rolled logs, stacked rocks, and used sticks as ladders. That's memory, planning, and spatial reasoning. Stuff you'd expect from primates, not badgers. It's not just fearless. It's a genius wrapped in armor. And when all else fails, it's got the anal pouch. <laughs> yep, this little weapon flips inside out and sprays a cloud of musk that smells like death and despair. Predators take one whiff and instantly go, yeah, nah, not today. By now you're probably thinking, okay, this thing's terrifying. How many people has it killed? Here's the shocker, basically none. There are zero recorded human fatalities. They're defensive, not predatory. They only attack when cornered, protecting young, or defending food. They're like the bouncers of the savanna. Small, loud, and absolutely not in the mood. So yeah, <laughs> the honey badger isn't fearless by accident. It's evolution's perfect storm. Loose armor-like skin, venom-resistant nerves, hyperactive immune system, marathon endurance, and brain power that breaks rules. 
it's living proof that evolution doesn't need size or beauty to build a survivor. Just grit, chemistry, and attitude. If you enjoyed this deep dive into nature's toughest creature, hit that like button and subscribe for more wild biology stories. Until then, stay wild.